Satsuma Designs Workshop. In this video, I am going to show you how we um, join our scrubs, pant, front and back panels. We are going to be working on our um, two needle overlock machine. It's a five thread, two needle overlock. And um, alternatively, uh, and it has five threads because it has a safety stitch or a chain stitch, um, which is shown here. As you can see, uh, the overlocked edge, which is three threads, and then this chain or safety stitch um, adds an extra layer of durability to the garment. If this machine were not available, another solution to join our pants front panel and back panel is by using uh, overlock for three thread and then adding uh, using our single needle um, machine and just making our own safety or chain stitch just along the edge of the overlock. But here today I'm going to show you um, operation on one machine. Now we have four panels in our pants. The front two pieces are the same and the back two pieces are the same. So it is important to be matching up the front two panels and the back two panels. Here I've marked, which I like to do, the face or the right side of each panel. And I've done that just with a little bit of masking tape. Now I'm doing something fun here in our instructional video, which is I already had um, two front pieces cut and two back pieces cut, but you can see they are in different colors. So this will help us, um, it was unintentional, but it will help us in terms of um, an instruction. So I wanna show you a little bit of a difference um, in the front and back. As you can see, the rise or the curve of the rise is a little bit different on the front versus the back. The front, it's a little shorter and the back is a little bit longer, not much. So you'll just wanna pay a little um, attention to that. So I'm going to start and this operation goes very quickly. I'm simply going to um, join the rises of the two uh, panels. To first I'll start with the back and then I'll do the front. And let me show you how we'll do it here on the overlock machine. Now uh, we can truly, depending on your preference, start at um, the crotch seam or the waistband, it's up to you. We'll use our notches to align. Um, I prefer to start with hard work and leave the easy to the last. And in this case, that means the curve. So I'm gonna start down here at this point. And as I'm using the overlock, I'm just going to very gently straighten my raw edge in order to make sure that everything um, is sewn properly. So in this machine, I have my light on. I have a, an eye guard here, which I wanna make sure is down. I've double checked that my needles are threaded properly, my two um, overlock threads, and then my back looper, which is part of the safety stitch. You can see here, um, this is three thread, and this is our um, safety or chain stitch with the two thread. Okay, uh, there is a foot pedal and our on and off button. I'm in the on position, so we're ready to sew. So I'm going to drop my light just a little bit for better visibility. I'm going to raise my sewing foot and just hugging the edge of this blade here on the overlock machine, I'm going to go ahead and sew. And I'm using white thread, so it's very easy to see where the seam is. It just makes it look so nice and such a clean finished look. And you can see how quickly this goes. I'm making sure to sew over my notches. Now, as we do in chain sewing, I'm just going to keep, I'm not gonna bother separating that yet. I'm gonna go ahead because I'm sitting here and I might be doing a number of front panels and or back panels at the same time. I'm just going to chain sew. So just right up against I'm going to uh, keep sewing and do my front panels. Again, I'm sewing from the crotch point and I'm just kind of opening up that curve into a straight line and that allows me to not have to sew on the curve, 
I'm lining up my notches here on my waistband and you'll see how easy this goes. Okay, I have my snips and I'll go ahead and trim and I'll separate my two garments. I have my front overlock, safety stitch, looks wonderful. Okay, in our next video, we'll go ahead and combine our front panels with our back panels. See you in the next video.